What's up guys, Headphones Neil here with a quick review on installing Windows applications on Linux. So in this case I'm going to attempt to install Win Winamp on Kubuntu 20.10. So the first thing we're going to do is um, install Play on Linux. It's uh, an easy front end to cr basically the Wine application la layer which allows you to install Windows applications on Linux to begin with. So as you can see I've already got Play on Linux installed so we don't have to do anything else from here but you'll basically click install, put in your password, let the application install and you're good on that end. So the next thing we need to do is install the WinApp installation file. So I've loaded the page from oldversion.com. The official WinApp.com website doesn't allow me to install or download the file. So um, I'm going to give this one a shot, see if it um, actually works or does not work. So uh, I guess, okay, so there we go. So I'm going to save the file to my downloads folder. Let that um, take its time. So from here what we're going to do is we're going to open Play on Linux because we're going to use that as our means of installing this Windows application. So my download is finished so I can close that window. So now we're going to click on install. Um, or so so um, we're going to click on install. Or, sorry install a program um, and we as we can see there's a few different options um, if you want to search for existing um, Windows applications that are part of the play on Linux directory instead we're going to do a click on install a non listed program so it's going to run us through the play on uh, Linux installation um, configuration uh, setup so let's make this window a little bit bigger and they is basically recommending that you do an independent wine setup per application so they don't conflict with each other so um, we're going to continue to uh, through the step-by-step -step process so install it to a virtual drive and then we have type a name in so in this case it's going to be Winamp and so we'll hit next um, in this case um, user, because I don't need to want to do anything specific before installation I'll leave it unchecked like it says um, let's test it on a 64-bit installation um, I guess that's an issue so I'm gonna start it um, from scratch again and instead this time I'm going to do select it as a 32-bit uh, installation um, to see if that works instead so we'll leave all that blank we'll keep it as 32-bit installation um, so let's do a raise just because it just to get rid of any residual information let it configure itself and then um, once that's done we'll proceed and see how it goes and okay so now we have the ability to select the file that we want to run so we'll click on browse We'll go to my downloads folder and we'll select the files and then hit or file singular and hit next. So now it's loading the installation file. So um, we'll pick English. Welcome to the Winamp installer. So very familiar if you've installed it before. So um, agree. I have plenty of space available. Um, Let's see. Mm -hmm. So the usual options: full, standard, light, or custom. I want to install everything, so we'll hit next. Uh, I don't want a quick launch, but we'll do start menu and desktop. Uh, 
Okay, so installation is done. I'll leave that um, checked to see if it actually launches after it's done. Hopefully it does not crash. So um, the first time um, set up with a wizard. So it looks like we have all sorts of different options. So I'll do the new bento skin. Uh, what do we want to associate with? Um, Winamps, I'll do everything except for video files. Uh, so I'll leave everything else alone. Um, I guess we have, well, I guess the online services are probably no longer tied to Winamp because it's no longer an actual um, service. So um, with that, then let's see if the setup actually finishes on it or finishes itself. So far, everything seems like it's progressing nicely. Uh, featured services, probably because it's something that there are online services that are no longer tied to Winamp. I will try skipping that and letting. Okay, so it looks like everything um, loaded properly. So I am going to uh, try and load my music um, and so I'm gonna let it scan my music file see if it loads everything and um, I'm not gonna actually play anything but because it played the um, default Winamp Llama track I know that it's tying nicely to my um, audio card it looks like um the let's see it play so it looks like the visualizer is the various visualizers are working good so that's all nice so let's poke around the um settings a little bit so it looks like um all the usual extras and various features are there so that's a pretty um cool thing there that it's all working uh, oh I guess that we program loading. well none of that makes sense to me so I'm going to close that um, so now if I do a search um, so I guess it didn't create the start menu um entry like I was hoping it would um, so let's see if we close that and close so let's relaunch play on Linux see oh, not my display conf configuration but let's relaunch play on Linux see if my Winamp installation um shows up but it doesn't look like it's still there so um looks like there was an actual error in the installation so although it's winamp is in my system tray so i'm not sure if uh let's go to applications multimedia see if maybe Winamp is sitting in there it is not uh, settings so so it does look like um, it did install um, so I'm not sure why the um, start menu configuration is not there so um, that is very unusual so um, and I would imagine that um, so 
it looks like you can make a manual um, shortcut um, if you so choose once a installation is done by clicking on configure so let's see if scanning virtual drive please choose a file so So I can close all that. Close all those windows, yes. So right clicking on the system tray icon doesn't seem to do too much, but um, not. so I guess the installation had an issue. Maybe it's too old or um, the original installation has an issue so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try and um, so close this application Let's see if I can run it from play on Linux see if that matters so uh, let's see about uh, play on Linux uninstaller. Let's see about uninstalling Winamp and deleting the virtual drive. So let's try reinstalling it but using some of the more basic uh, Winamp settings and going from there see if maybe it was a skins issue that was causing the problem. So Winamp so we'll go through the same process as a 32-bit installation file. So maybe when I hit cancel and got out and went in that when formatting the drive caused a problem, but um, we'll see about letting it, letting it do its own thing. So let's select the file to install just like last time. This time because we're not um, formatting a drive or redoing or letting it set things do its own, or let everything work on its own. Um, so I'm going to turn off the WinApp agent. Don't want to. Let's do a standard installation, see, or maybe let's do a light installation. How about that? Um, WinApp. No Winamp agent, don't want that running around. Great star mini quick line. So, and this time I'm actually going to quit the installer and so not launch and I'm going to do finish and let play on Linux finish its own thing. See if that um, solves the problem. If that does it, then we know that it's pro or actually it might be just a possibility that um, it was a matter of the Play on Linux installer not finishing to begin with, so let's let it do its thing. Okay, so this is actually taking a lot more, a lot longer than I thought, but you get the general idea as a sample of play on Linux. If you have a Windows application that you want to install on Linux, um, by using play on Linux, you can attempt to install it, see if um, um, if the application will install. In general, depending on the application, it should install. I don't anticipate this taking this long for every single application, but um, it. I imagine if it 
is going to install properly then it should finish properly on its own and um, you should be able to finish exactly what you want it to finish so that's all there is for this particular attempt at installing windows on linux it was i want to say 80 percent successful but if it does finish installing then um, I'll update the show notes on this video to reflect that. So thanks for watching and listening at this weird attempt and until next time.